Roswell flight test crew out here in the Nevada desert the day before CES begins in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're taking a look at the Wakara QL1200 hybrid drone. And I'm talking to Lucy Chen from Wakara. How you doing, Lucy? Hi, Patrick. <laughs> it was nice to see you again. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. So tell me a little bit about this drone. This is a hybrid drone that Wakara produced and tested and launched to the CS show this time. All right, and what can it do? First of all, it can fly in two hours flying time, and the payload can reach to two kilogram payload. So it can do a rescue drone and also an inspection drone. So tell me a little bit about how this aircraft flies. Oh, it's very easy to fly. I also fly this drone at the factory by myself. <laughs> it's very simple, just everything to automatically fly. And also you can do waypoint, automatically start and automatically return. And if you lose control, it will also uh, return to home automatically. So what about the camera it's carrying on the front there? It was an optical zoom camera produced by Walkero. So Lucy, your colleague Mr. Shaw was telling me that because it's a gasoline engine, there is periodic maintenance required. So like after five hours of flying, you need to check the air filter, make sure all the screws are tight. And then after 50 hours of flying, you check the spark plug, replace the air filter. After 200 hours of flying, that's when you're taking it apart, checking, making sure everything's inside. Yes, it is. And also the engine is imported from Japan and the quality is very good. One thing to be aware of is that this is, makes more noise than a battery powered drone. When you get started below five meters, noise is something like 80 dB. 80 decibels. Yeah. And if you fly about 10 to 15 meters high, it is something like a 70. So let's see, I noticed this will fit in a backpack. It's a big backpack, but it does fit. What does it weigh? Uh, the total weight, the takeoff weight is something like uh, 16 kilograms. 16 kilograms, so that's probably 35, 38 pounds. Yes, exactly. So that's well within the part 107 limitations here in the United States. And also it's very easy to carry for the people to go out for working. What does one of these drones cost? I think the market price is something like uh, 30,000 US dollars around. And then when are these going to be available in the United States? It's already available. We already shipped the first shipment last month to the United States. So from the Nevada desert, the day before CES gets started in Las Vegas, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks so much, Lucy. Thank you. Welcome to see our booth at Las Vegas. <laughs> and we will be here, uh, be, be the convention center. Yes, all right. Bye-bye.